Hey, what's going on guys? Patrick here with Drone Nerds. Today we're talking about exporting your DJI Phantom Inspire footage to YouTube, uploading, you know, Vimeo, stuff like that online. Some of the settings that we found work really well. So first off, you can see we use Final Cut Pro X. Now some people use Adobe, some people use Final Cut Pro X, some people use iMovie. I prefer Final Cut Pro X just because of simplicity and the ease of use, but also some of the advanced features. I use it for editing. DJI drone footage, Sony footage, RED footage, and everything works great. I've edited all kinds of different types of videos, you know, long videos, short videos, and it really is a great editor. You can see here, you know, here's the interface, stuff like that. Really simple, clean setup. So people out there, you'll get a kind of a, an idea of, you know, how, to, how we're doing this in Final Cut Pro X. And you can, you know, use some of these ideas for Adobe if you're editing in Premiere. So first off, when I'm gonna import my footage, you know, my footage is on the SD card. I'm going here, I've already inserted into the computer and I'm gonna import my media. So I'm just gonna click on that. And there you can see all of my clips. So all the clips that I shot are all, so actually some of these are 1080 and some are in 4K. You can definitely see a big difference in the quality. So here's all my clips from my last trip. I've already actually imported these, but you can see, you know, you're going to select the clips that you want to import, and down here you're going to click Import Selected. And it's going to copy over to your hard drive or your computer. And then, here are my clips. So first off, we'll actually use some of the Inspire 1 X5 footage that we shot in a city-like look, real flat, you know, real, uh, just simple 4K image, real clean. What you're going to do is, you know, you're going to grab your clips from here, you're going to drop it down on the editor, just pull and drop, just like that. You first create a timeline, when you, your first clip that you're going to put on the timeline, usually what happens is the timeline is going to find the best setting for the video. You know, since we shot this in 4K, the timeline is going to be in 4K. So all the clips are on the timeline here. You can scroll through real quick and see them. If you want to add stuff like uh, color correction, some uh, LUTs, stuff like that, different effects, titling, you can do that as well. But for the purpose of the video, we're just talking about how to import and export for YouTube. So, you know, these are all raw clips, and, you know, you can adjust them as needed. So for exporting for YouTube, the thing I like to do is I'm just going to go up here to File and Export. Share actually. So it says you're going to up here share. I like to export a master file. So, what that is, is the highest quality that I can. So, what I like to export is an H.264 file in 4K resolution. That's the highest resolution, you know, for the clips. So, I don't want to downgrade. I want to keep the quality high. And I'm going to export at 4K. Now that YouTube is playing 4K, it's great to export the highest quality. Get it on YouTube, you know, keep the quality high. You definitely want to export your 4K footage straight to YouTube and get the highest quality. You have other options with ProRes, stuff like that, but the H.264 really works well with the YouTube uh, exporter and importer, stuff like that. So, and then I'm just going to click Next. You can see I'm exporting to YouTube. It's going to save it to my desktop. You know, over you know a couple minutes, it's going to export and show up on my desktop. And then what I'm going to do is go on to YouTube, real simple. You know how to upload videos to YouTube and just upload it like that. There's a lot of little things you can tweak with the clips, you know, with the color, saturation, adjusting brightness, and all the different contrasts. There's my clip now. So that's all personal preference. The more you use your editor, the more you work with the clips, the better you're going to find the, the, the footage is turning out over time because you're going to actually, you know, learn how to edit them better and get higher quality. The biggest thing for me is always simple, clean edits. So if you have any more questions, leave a comment below. We'll be glad to answer them and let us know.